side has to stop two men on the road. Samaraksan gets the ball down to Miki Perez. That opens the field to Derek Oliveira wrongly. And the ball is caught by number 13, Maureen Kerr Sangari. That gets the ball to a throw in for the GL UFC. We have 25 minutes into the clock still. The New York Cubs win 1-0. We have number 21 open in the field. Great ball that uh, goes out. That would have been a great center ball. Luckily for the Dragons, that ball goes out. Doctor goes the ball to the midfield, still fighting there. Loses the ball. Cosas is trying to get the ball further up the field. We have Joe Maderas that has an open field. He can go. He's looking up to Samba, stops, and gets the play down to Patrick Hamilton. That pushes forward again, back to Hamilton from Medeiros. The GLVC are looking to put the ball further up the field, but are not able to do it. We have Joe Medeiros again on the band. The player goes on the other side. We have a great ball by Medeiros, but it's not totally controlled by George Lavantakis, who, well, basically passed the ball to the goalkeeper. Number three gets the ball to number 33 from the Cosmos. We have Andrew Malley and Terry Spitman that get the ball around all the time. We have number 31 right now. We have Anderson going in, dribbling, two, three players. Look at the goal and we have oh yeah it lit look an offside and we have an offside up uh, Anderson Anderson should have taken that shot but try to open the field here we have the crowd going rowdy here at Cali Stadium, Doug Serra trying to control the ball, loses the ball there in the midfield. The midfield for GLUFC are not, it's not being the best today. John Dumbuya is all the way down defending, trying to get the ball. And we have a throw in for the Gray Lowell United. So good defense by John Dumbuya. The throw in goes into the middle for Saraxan that goes the ball around. Raxan still controlling the ball, goes into the field, opens the field to Patrick Hamilton. The looks up, try to get the ball to a forward. We have Saraxan, we have John Dumbuya gets the play around, and misses the ball there. Try to trick them, and what does the New York Cosmos do? Goes all the way back, controls the ball again and plays the midfield and plays long balls constantly open in the field. That's the only thing that we've seen from the New York Cosmos. They open the field and they don't play. The only time they have midfield playing is when they capture the ball there. We have a center and that Costas gets out of the box, throw in for the New York Cosmos. Ball control by the New York. Oh, Anderson gets the ball, gets the ball in, controls. Joe Medeiros, we have number 18. Go Rodriguez he loses the ball and his Dragon's ball here at Cali Stadium with almost 30 minutes into the clock. Doc Sura gets the ball to Samba that's winning the side. Uh, tries to get the ball to John Dumbuya. The ball is a throw in for the GLVSV Dragons. They get the ball, and Medeiros gets the ball, handball to. Doc Searle that puts the ball down to Patrick Hamilton that tr is again is trying to get the ball to the box but unable to. Samba gets the run. Great control by Masamba there trying to get the ball into the box. Uh, can a ball is Cosmos ball that touches a deep touch. Rosensard Masamba's feet. Unluckily. We have number 12, we have Kyle Sobek with the ball opening the field again. 
John Dumbuya goes after him. Great ball by the New York Cosmos that go in on their own. And great goal, 2-0. In the 30th minute, 2-0 for the New York Cosmos that score on a GLUFC on the Grey Lowell United that are standing there and not following the play. And luckily we have two goals for the New York Cosmos B, zero for the Greater Lowell United. So a game song here at uh, Collier Stadium. Doug Sir gets the ball to George Lewandowski. So, uh, hopefully we are able to get a goal and get a closer game now. Gets a foul. The ref calls a foul for the New York Cosmos close to the goal line. But no. It is goal in number 33 goes in to get the ball. No one from the GLS UFC team goes and tries to get the ball. It's all midfield for the Cosmos there. The attack again. And John Dubuia gets the ball back. Then we have a foul. We have a foul. We have a clear foul for the Great Lowell United. Apparently there's the only one way to stop John Dubuia. And that's with a foul. There. We have one man on the, yeah, we're gonna have one man on the wall. And Mickey Perez asking all the players to go up, to go on the, on trying to get to the box. But uh, it seems that they're playing great ball in, keeper ball, keeper's ball. There, Kyle Sobek gets danger away and waits for his defense to open up. We have a midfielder. Oh, changes the play. Ball goes all the way to the side, but no control there. And that's why we have a throw in for GL UFC. Need to push it. They only have 13 more minutes here in the first half to get a goal. Then the Buya is not able to control fully the ball, but it goes out for Maureen Kerr Sangari from the New York Cosmos and that's why we have another throw in. A couple of yards won by Gray Lowell United. Not much. We have a Mickey Perez with his great arms. He's gonna throw the ball all the way in to the box. Great header, great ball by John Dumbuya, but the ref calls a foul. I don't know, I don't really know what he called in because he's showing like if that was uh, offside, but that was a throw-in. There's no offside for him a throw-in. I don't know what he called. Yeah, number 33 with the ball coming into the midfield. It stopped there by Samba and John Dumbuya who are actually putting a little bit more pressure there. Dog Searle opens the field. We have Derek Oliveira with the ball. John Dumbuya cannot stop it. We have Costas, number 22 for Gray Lowell United, coming into the midfield. Derek Sarak Zen opens the field for George Lavantakis. Place down. We have Mickey Perez from the defense. Goes up. He's trying to, you can see his right hand going, go up, go up, go up. And Joe Medeiros that misses the header. And we have. Good, a better connection there for GLVOC, but a throwing that's gotten by the New York Cosmos. The controllable in the midfield, number 33. We have Pittman there with the ball, opens the field back to the midfield, back to the defense, trying to get the Gray Lowell United up the field to generate space on their defense. Right? We have a bit pressure there by number 16, Samba from Greater Lowell United. Great passing by the New York Cosmos in the midfield. Open the field, goes all the way through the box. And luckily, no, Anderson is not in his position. And 
still we have a 2-0 game here at Cali Stadium almost 35 minutes into the clock remember two games uh, two score two goals here for New York Cosmos one on, on the 30th minute the one before that around number 10 both came from place no what happened here lost ball from the New York from the JLUFC and saved great save there by Sam Manning where when there was a disconnection from the defense that trying to pass the ball off on the box that's like a big no-no in soccer but when spaces are not being created long ball there Joe Madaris is not able to get uh, with it Throwing for a New York Cosmos that actually got the ball in a couple of yards further up the row. We have a number 21, Bover with the ball, pass it back to number 18. Bover with the ball there. We have nice triangle, nice ball passing from the New York Cosmos, opening the field. And we have a runner there getting the throw in and Costas got. Balcafotis gets the corner for the New York Cosmos. Corner kick for the New York Cosmos. Second from that side. We'll see if it's a dangerous situation for DLUFC or not. The goal goes in. Sam Manning tries to go out. Header, two headers. Two headers in the box. That's the rule. There are two headers in the box. That's a goal. Third goal for the New York Cosmos. 3-0 here. Number minute 36. Goal by number 31, Carl Oscar Anderson. Two heads in the box. It's a goal. Samba opens the ball there. Have uh, on the ball going in. The ball is open to John Dumbuya that goes through players and he gets grabbed, but not apparently not for the ref. That's not a grab. And we have uh, opening the field for the New York Cosmos that get the ball around and back to their defense and that open the field again. And we'll see this again. Number 21 with the ball. It gets cut off by Doug Searle. Let's see if we had a counterattack by the GLBFC, but uh, he stops. Steps on the ball, but it's throwing for GLUFC there. 3 0 for New York Cosmos. Hopefully, we go back to halftime in a better situation. Thrasang fights the ball. Joe Medeiros opens the field, 30 yard line. Stops. Turns around. Looks forward. Doug Searle. Goes in, ball all the way down to the defense from Costas to Amiki Pires. That uh, looks up, looks up, goes with the great ball to Patrick Hamilton. That goes into the box, steps in, he had jumped in Buya with it, and we have a great kick. Ref, ah, I don't know what is the ref calling. Apparently, it's calling that the ball went outside. Went from the last line there. Great play by Mickey Perez looking up and Patrick Hamilton winning the band. Ten minutes to go here. Well, seven minutes to go plus whatever the ref adds to it. And uh, number 33 gets the ball, goes back to the goalkeeper that can barely get it. Ball in the midfield for uh, New York Cosmos. I got a long ball. Miki Perez controls it. We have number eight putting pressure there, and that's why we have a throw in for the New York Cosmos. Attacking on the 10 yard line. Knight is coming into Knight is coming into the Cali Stadium. We have a throw in, and the throwing goes into the box. Great ball 
for it to get run. Uh, Joe Miller is running on the side. He looks in, looks in, but there's no one running with him. Taraxan was going right by it, but the pass gets stopped. Patrick Hamilton gets the ball here. And Amiki Perez is going to go with the throw in. <laughs> Trying to get the throw in all the way into the box. Ball goes in, passes over Masamba header. And we have another throw in, another opportunity for Amiki Perez to show that he can put the ball all the way to the goal from that position. Mickey Perez gets a throw in all the way into the box. Goalkeeper jumps wrongly, but gets to catch the ball in the second attempt. Is he gonna pass it all the way up? Finally, the Verlo United is covering the defense and we got the Keeper getting the ball in the midfield. Doc Searle with the ball right now. The pressure there gets the foul, although it didn't look like one. John Dumbuya gets with the ball, tries to go in, tries to go to the side, goes on the ground, not called. So we have an attack now by the New York Cosmos that's stopped by Derek Oliveira. But the ball is still in control for the New York Cosmos. Get the ball all the way to number six. The captain opens the field to number three. And the uh, repetitive play comes along there. Ball all the way down to Anderson. That's headed by Patrick Hamilton. And we have a throw in for the New York Cosmos there on the 20th yard line. Danger into the box for the GLUFC with four minutes into the game to go. Number 21 gets the ball to Anderson. Patrick Hamilton doesn't, doesn't play, but the player from New York Cosmos runs into him. And that's why we have no obstruction because there was no intention from Patrick to play. And the ball goes back to the Great Lowell United Football Club. That gets, Sam gets the ball into the midfield, one by the New York Cosmos that opened the field to Anderson that gets the ball in and not correctly stopped by Derek Oliveira that leaves a corner kick for the New York Cosmos. We have a corner kick for the New York Cosmos that is going to be taken by number 29 by Mikete. It would be really good if they actually get the names here because I'm not being able to tell you what's the player. But I'm gonna have a corner kick. There's a third one on that side. Ball goes in to goes open, open field. Number 21 gets the kick in. On oh, it's greatly saved by the GLDC defender, but danger it's still on the box and Anderson shoots poorly. And we have a we have the ball for goalkeeper, but we have medics coming in for the New York Cosmos player. It's on the ground. We have uh, the captain from the New York Cosmos talking to the ref. Probably regarding it's not a it's not a captain. Sorry, it's number eight. Miguel here talking to the Cooks. Probably complaining about the previous play. It's still, it's over. Have two minutes to go here on the first half. We have, you can see in the midfield, a bunch of GLVSC players talking, trying to work this situation out and get the game back on. Maybe a goal before halftime and we get the ball in from Sam Manning so far we have the, the New York Cosmos winning 3-0 ball in ball into the midfield it's lost by Doc Searle counter attack by New York Cosmos who go into the box the player falls 
and we get a penalty kick for New York Cosmos apparently now. It's a penalty kick for the New York Cosmos here. Minute, 44th minute on the first half. We'll see if we can get uh, Sam Manning's saving hands in to avoid the fourth goal. Ruben Bover gets ready. Samanin jumping on the line. Goes in and goal for the New York Cosmos. Goal for New York Cosmos. That's four goals. New York Cosmos zero for the Great Lowell United with one minute to go. Less than a minute to go here on the first half. The New York Cosmos are winning 4-0 here in Holly Stadium. We'll see if the situation can be turned. If they got score full goals in one game, in one half time, we'll see if they can work around. The ref stops the clock before, like on 45 minutes even. That's something never seen. There is where stoppage time, fully stoppage time here and there to work around. Didn't work to 45, and cleared in at any time here. We have halftime here at Collier Stadium. We have the New York Cosmos B winning four to zero to a local game team, the Greater Lowell United FC. We see if they can actually get a better game going here in the second half. We have the games, the players going out and we have a halftime show coming. So I can hear it on the background. Luckily the sounds from the sounds from the party band will bring a little spirit back to the Great Lowell United Dragons.